In this lesson, we continue our study of AC steady state analysis for circuits that contain inductors, capacitors, and resistors. Well, to continue our analysis of steady state AC circuits, our emphasis is to show how we use the same techniques for solving steady state AC circuits that we used for DC circuits with the difference being that all the voltages and currents and impedances are complex valued. To do that, let's look at a circuit with a voltage source of 3 volts at 170 degrees, two resistors, one of 100 ohms and one of 50 ohms, a 30 microfarad capacitor, and a 20 millihenry inductor. And let's use all of this to determine the voltage drop from node A to node B when the frequency is 70 hertz. And we can use any of the techniques we've learned for DC circuits, but for this one, let's use the mesh or loop current method with the two mesh, mesh currents shown here. Now using the values for all the circuit elements and the frequency of 70 Hz, we can associate each element with an impedance. For the capacitor, it's negative J divided by 2 times pi times the frequency times the capacitance. For the inductor, it's J times 2 times pi times the frequency times the inductance. And for the two resistors, it's simply their resistance. The desired voltage drop from A to B will be the impedance for the second resistor times the mesh current I2. And once we've set the problem up this way, we could use a calculator or some software tool to solve this circuit. Here, for example, are the instructions you might use in Mathematica. But of course, you could carry out similar steps with a variety of computing tools. Now, the first things I do is assign the values for the capacitance, the inductance, the resistances, and the voltage source, noting that the source's phase is specified in degrees, which I need to convert to radians. Next, I use those values to set up the complex values for the impedances. And then, using the special notation within Mathematica, I'll write the two loop equations. For the first loop, the equation is negative Vs plus I1 times the impedance for the capacitor plus I1 minus I2 times the impedance for the first resistor, and I set all of that equal to zero. The second equation is I2 minus I1 times the impedance for the first resistor plus I2 times the impedance for the inductor, plus I2 times the impedance for the second resistor, and that all must be equal to zero. Then, if we solve for those two equations for the two unknowns, we can use the value we get for I2 to evaluate the voltage drop from A to B, which in this case turns out to be 1.2582 volts at a phase angle of negative 128.38 degrees. Again, once we know how to convert inductors and capacitors to their complex valued impedances, we can use any of the methods we've learned for solving DC circuits to solve for unknown voltages and currents in steady state AC circuits. We just need to now perform all of our algebra with complex numbers.